What is up everybody? It's Tom over at Good Vibes Vapor and today I have a treat for you, a big cloud at a tiny price tag. So let's get right down to it and talk about the E-Leaf iJust 2. So E-Leaf is known more for its mods than for its sub tanks. I for one, I have the 30 watt, we got the 40 watt in shop, uh, we sell a lot of the hundreds. Uh, they're just a really, really popular mod, but not a lot of people know about their uh, their sub tanks and believe it or not, when paired up with their mods and then you know any others really they really perform so uh, today we're talking about this I just two here um, substantially cheaper than many of the sub tanks you guys see on the market today and I when I first saw it I honestly was skeptical I you know a sub tank at this price the quality must not be there but honestly it's been proving me wrong up until this point uh, there's lots of different coils that you can buy for it um, it's a 0.3, a 0.5, a nickel, and a ceramic nickel, and a titanium as well. So there's a lot of options for this little guy here. And it may not be the end-all, be-all of sub-tanks, but if you're working on a budget and trying to get the most out of your money, then it's definitely something that you could look into. Um, like many of the sub-tanks that are on the market today, it's got a really nice open airflow at the base really nice and cooling and it's also got the big bore 510 drip tip here up top so nice airflow passing through this thing I would say the airflow on the iJust is equivalent to the uh, Spire Atlantis 2 um, without the drip tip airflow or more or less the uh, the original Atlantis uh, times 4 because it's got these airflow ducts going all the way around the base here now this thing is adjustable but not in the way that typically sub tanks are there's a lot less adjusting they give you this vape band here that has the holes most people just keep it off and run it all the way open but as you can see this vape band threads right over here and from there you can turn it and adjust as you will I myself with the ones we use in store here we prefer it without the vape band just to keep it wide open that's usually what the uh, best quality of vape is for it anyway so yeah really simple really easy a little bit different on the airflow than traditional but that's something that makes it unique and you know it's not even a necessary part really because the open airflow is enough so um, the drip tip like I mentioned earlier it's 510 big bore, but it is removable if you prefer a smaller tip or a different type, you know, they leave it up to you. But the one that comes stock on, it's pretty decent, you know, it, it, it flows well with the tank. So, you're working with a 5.5 milliliter juice capacity here, so you got plenty of room to keep you, keep you full. Um, it's a bottom fill, so you grab the base here, the whole base threads out. And you fill it through the side there. Those little fins passes through there, fills up your tank. And you can fill this tank pretty much all the way up. So here's your coil. What's stock in these is the 0.3 resistance, I believe. And those are 30 to 80 watts are the suggested uh, temperature to run it at. So. Screws right here to the base, kind of like your uh, original Atlantis design. It's got a little bit of a suction here up top. Keeps it airtight. Um, keeps juice from leaking into your coil and through your holes. So once you got it filled up, screws right back there. So like I mentioned, coil, super easy to change. Sits in the base, screwed out, and you're ready to replace just like that. Like I said, there is... A 0.3, a 0.5, a ceramic nickel, a nickel, and a titanium coil for this guy. So the ones that come in there are stock Canthal coils at 0.3 ohms. But, like I mentioned before, the price tag on this thing, paired with the quality that it comes out with, it, it makes it hard not to want one. So, I'm going to give you guys a sample vape here off one of the ones we use as a tester at, at the shop. And that's 45 watts, mind you. So, 
pretty quality, pretty quality. Um, we've had the e leaves in for I would say about a month or so on the testers, and to this point, we've only had to change the coils once. So coil life is not a real big issue with these, uh, and the options that you get with it is more than enough. So overall, for the price, the e leaf I just two is a great sub tank. Uh, it doesn't really compare with your TFV4s or your super tanks of the world, but that's not really who it's for. Great for beginners or just an intermediate user. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate your time, and as always, live long and vape on.